Right, so I'm about to do a submersion test of the Motorola DP3400. Got two of them right here. Um, I put the dust cover on the one that I'm going to submerge in the water. Um, I did buy these on eBay, so I don't know what their history is. Um, but we'll see if it's still as waterproof as it was when it was sold. I'm hoping it will be. <laughs> so, here we go. Right, so that's fully submersed in the water. I'll just put some more on to show you this. Definitely underwater. Okay. Now, they're both on the same channel. Let me try talking to that one. Hello, one, two, radio test. Now you probably can't hear that, but I can hear the speaker is actually working underwater. If I turn up the volume. Hello, one, two, radio, test. It does work, it does sound very muffled though. Um, so now, just out of the water, let me try and transmit on that radio. I'll just turn the volume down. Here's the other one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it sounds very muffled because if you have a look there, the microphone is full of water. But if I shake it out of it, I'm just blowing the water out of the microphone. One, two, one, two, radio test. Now it sounds fine again. Um, now let me try talking to this one. One two, one two, one two. Uh, that sounds a bit weird as well. I can actually see the water in the speaker, but I'll try blowing that out. One two, one two, one two. It sounds more or less normal. One two, one two, three. One two, test. One two, one two, three. One two, test. Yeah, so um, it appears to be working pretty well straight after coming out of the water. Obviously, when it dries off, it will sound normal again. But for having come straight out of the water, I think that's pretty good.